I've noticed that everybody that is for abortion has already been born. Howdy, y'all. I'm Brylan. You know, it's pretty sick how weak Christianity has become, at least in America right now. You know, we can't even, we feel like we can't even speak out on issues going on in our society for fear of being labeled as judgmental. You know, society wants you to feel like if you speak out on anything, then you're being judgmental. And that goes against your Bible, right? Because God said, love only. And love means acceptance of everything. And love means you can't use any type of judgment or discernment. And so society has gotten into the heads and the hearts of Christians in America and twisted what true love is, what true righteous judgment is, what discernment is, and Christians have fallen for it hook, line, and sinker. And that's why you're seeing the downfall of our society so rapidly, because Christians have checked out They've said, we're, we're going to get out of the way and just allow society to destroy itself because I'm not allowed to say anything about it. Otherwise, I won't be like Jesus because Jesus never spoke on morality, right? And one thing that should not be controversial for Christians is the fact that Life matters. Psalm 139, 13, For you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. God knew us before we were in the womb, and he knitted us together in such an intimate way that it was God who was forming us from the very beginning of the process. This isn't by accident. Life is not by accident. And then you have David. Look at David here. He says, Yet you are he who took me from the womb. You made me trust you at my mother's breasts. On you was I cast from my birth, and from my mother's womb you have been my God. Life isn't an accident. You are not an accident. And trying to stop life, even in the womb, is nothing less than going against the creation of God. That's where sickening stories like this come in. Disney, Google, tied to university initiative, is giving students $25,000 to make films promoting the slaughter of a child. And hey, if you want to support this channel, you can go check out some of our merch. This is one of our new shirts right here. This is one of my favorite shirts. John 1930. It is finished. Absolute biblical truth. If you want to check out some of our merch, it'll be linked in the description below. Hey, would you consider hitting that subscribe button and being a part of this community with us? I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well. You know, when you like this video, YouTube pushes it out to more people and it would really help spread this message. And then check this out. Several major corporations back this initiative. Walt Disney Studios, NBC Universal, Sony Pictures, and Google. A California University initiative with ties to Walt Disney Studios and other major companies is funding a grant program for students' film projects promoting abhorrent rights, prompting concerns from pro-life advocates. Of course, it should prompt concerns. It says the Annenberg Inclusion Initiative, part of the University of Southern California's Annenberg School for Communication and Journalism, unveiled the program on August 17th in a tweet. So here's the tweet right here. It says, Attention, senior film students, we're thrilled to announce. You see the wording here? They are so excited to announce that they can't wait to just dump all the money they can into promoting the slaughter of the unborn. A new reproductive rights accelerator. Look at it. Look at We're thrilled to announce a new reproductive rights accelerator. Apply for 25000 to fund a short film on reproductive health with a minimum of four recipients selected. Thank you for the several members of Wamav Millions for your generous support. What? 
This, I mean, the propaganda here, look at that, 14 whole likes. A statement on the film's school website the following day indicated that the grant comes in response to the U.S. Supreme Court's reversal. Of course it comes in the response of that. They're mad. They're like raving lunatics. They're, 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 they're wolves foaming from the mouth, and they can't wait to taste blood. This is nothing new. The program's intended to focus on reproductive health, and political storytelling. The organization consists of 340 members who make a minimum of 1 million commitment to support initiatives for women and girls. You can't even say what a woman or a girl is. Give me a break. First, define what a woman is. Oh yeah, and don't forget about insanity like this. There is no such thing as a heartbeat in six weeks. It is a manufactured sound designed to convince people that men have the right to take Nicole Hunt, the Life Issues Analysis for the Evangelical Parachurch Organization, Focus on the Family, told CP that storytelling is an essential component in the culture wars waging over a abhorrent policy today, contending that abhorrent activists are trying to shape the narrative surrounding the issue. The pro-life movement can and must counter these efforts with its own storytelling. I agree. We should be countering these issues by putting our own voices out there. We can't stay silent. That is antithetical to the Bible. The Bible says, speak up for truth. She identified the film Life Mark, produced by former child actor and outspoken Christian activist Kirk Cameron, along with the Kendrick brothers as one such effort. So here's the movie Life Mark. I have yet to see it, so I can't speak on its quality, though I did watch the trailer and it looks good. It looks interesting. It actually looks like a solid Christian film that tells you know, a, a story that is based on truth. I mean, it's a true story, apparently. So if any of y'all have seen Life Mark, then leave it in the comments below. Tell me what you thought about it. Was it a good movie? Based on a true story, Life Mark tells the story of a young couple who experienced an unexpected pregnancy, chose life, and made an adoption plan for their baby. Hunt says the film is a moving account of the power of love and kindness. As the pro-life movement makes storytelling a priority, it will do more than change the law on abhorrent in this nation. It will move people's hearts and minds to see pre-born babies as worthy and deserving of life. They are worthy and deserving of life. They are created by God. They, they are known by God. We are known by God before we are even in the womb. And then as we're in the womb, it is an intricate, intimate process of creation by God. And life is something that we take so for granted. But hey, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. And please hit that subscribe button as well. I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And also, if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button, you know when you like this video, YouTube pushes it out to more people and it would really help spread this message. I'd love to meet you over on Patreon as well. You can find our Patreon in the description below. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.